Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Talk Ray Bradbury. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please get on it. All right, so this week's Ray Bradbury short fiction review is February 1999, Illa. Published in 1950 as I'll Not Ask for Wine, it became part of the Martian Chronicles. There is a couple living on Mars um, in the countryside in a thousand year old home. They are bored, they are unhappy, their marriage sucks. The wife, Illa, uh, she daydreams about an Earth man named Nathaniel York who comes from outer space, um, comes to visit her and wants to take her away uh, to her planet. Martians believe that Earth has too much oxygen to be inhabitable, um, but uh, Illa clearly has developed some sort of psychic connection with Earth and with humans. Um, and she actually begins to sing, um, sing an earth song in a language she doesn't know. Um, she eventually does dream that Nathaniel will be landing that afternoon in Green Valley, a place near her home. Uh, her husband makes excuses um, to keep her at home because he is jealous. Uh, he tells her she, he is going out hunting. He takes his gun. She hears shots fired and realizes that uh, Nathaniel must have actually come to Earth and uh, her husband took care of him. Um, the story, it's a really interesting tone, um, very common to the Martian Chronicles as I remember them. Um, sort of cold and eerie and sort of sterile. It feels like how I would imagine the surface of Mars to feel. But I do love some things about the story, uh, namely that um, Martians sort of look on Earth the way that we do as being uninhabitable. And then, despite the setting, uh, it really is a story about peoples because uh, couples, married couples on Mars, are just as unhappy and miserable and jealous as we are, which I think is a really cool um, a way to tell a story. Um, and it's these sort of simple observations about um, humanity and jealousy and um, sort of everyday life um, put into sort of a more extreme context or setting that really, to me, really like the bread and butter of um, what Ray Bradbury did sort of in his best work. Um, in the context of the Martian Chronicles, um, this is the second tale, I believe, and it represents the coming of the first human colonists to Mars. So um, the evasion has begun. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, February 1999, Illa, published 1950. Um, cool little story. Uh, won't take you long to read. Uh, will sort of stay with you, though, because it does have that sort of power to it, which I really, really love in a great short story. So um, be back uh, possibly later this week, possibly next week with another short story review. I am working my way through uh, 100 short stories by Ray Bradbury, so be sure to um, subscribe, hang around, and we'll talk about some more Ray Bradbury. If you're not into Ray Bradbury, um, I also did the complete fiction of H.P. Lovecraft last year, and there's several other authors that I've been working on and sort of going deep dive into here on Let's Talk. So a little bit of something for everybody. All right, guys, uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe, and I will see you again soon.